time for Around the Ozarks Rewind, brought to you by Kaleidoscope at the corner of Fremont and Sunshine. Here are your hosts, Woody and Janet. Recorded from the studios of... What station are you on, uh, Jay Stevens? He's on all of them. I I miss the old days. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get this uh, out right up front. I am going in for back surgery next Friday. I'm so worried. I'm so, so worried. I've tried uh, everything. Here's my directive. Jay Stevens, write this down. Record this. I am writing it down. Under no circumstances is Janet Lane uh, to be allowed in that room. No, 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 no. You told told me like 20 years ago. Uh, Janet, I want you in charge of the plug. And I think, let me see, what'd you say? Okay, I know, I know, no, no, no. You said, I want you in charge of the plug. And and then, because if you, you get said, in do that you position. You want to die with dignity, don't you, yeah. Woody? And you said, and I think I have this right, I may be mistaken, but I think so. He said, if I get, you know, if I'm in a coma, pull the plug. And I said, okay, right? Said, no, huh? it is exactly wrong. <laughs> It what? couldn't be wronger. You said if I'm don't pull it. Or- I do not. You know, I'm the guy that wrote the book Eye for an Eye. Did you ever read that? And I've done yeah. a lot of research on the human brain. About I don't believe from in coma- brain dead. I don't oh. think there's any such thing. The brain is constantly working to rewire itself when it's damaged. Really? So you give don't Even on let a- her. Ni- oh, let's let him go and please. I thought. I could have sworn you said pull the plug. No. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm glad we're getting this out now rather than yeah. after the fact. Yes, right, but she'll right, forget right. it because I have, to, I have to tell her every year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now, can, it's, now it's it, out there in the universe. She keeps it's recorded. Out there. She's it's like, recorded I'll for write life. it down. How you old are you I'll now, do? Woody? How old are you now? No, you know what I'll do? I'll put it in my phone. <laughs> pull the plug. Do not. Do, uh, I'm sorry. Do not. You got that wrong again. Do not. Okay, plug. we can't we can't um, fool around like we did last week. We took too long, and we took too I owe long. Brandon an apology. I was I I want to apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for my cognitive decline. What are you talking about? I noticed it last week myself. You know what? You're getting ready to have the first surgery of your entire life. I think that it's making uh, me it, nervous it's and okay it's running a little scared. on my yes. spine. I mean, that's where your spinal column goes. I, I mean, well, that's. that's why do you think I said exhaust every other avenue before letting someone cut on you? But no. I did. No, I did no. everything you said, no, and I'm you worse than ever. You didn't do what the lady I sent you to told you to do. You didn't <laughs> use that little contraption. You didn't get acupuncture. You didn't try stem cell stuff. Acupuncture. Mm-hmm. That's Boy, right. there's a That's joke right. for you. That's right. Dear Woody and Janet, I hope you and your listeners can settle an argument between me and my husband. Ooh, I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> Do you think it's okay to take your own leftovers home from a gathering? <laughs> we were invited to a gathering over the weekend. Our job was to bring dessert and whatever we wanted to drink. So we brought a big thing of fresh cookies from Costco, a bottle of wine for me, and a six-pack of beer for my husband. Mm-hmm. So when we went to leave, there was still a half bottle of wine and three beers and about a dozen cookies. My husband packed all that to take with us. I explained that that was rude because they hosted and that you're supposed to leave the stuff behind that you brought. Is it in their containers? He said it's our stuff and we should get to take it home. The drinks, no. I don't think. But the food, if it's in your Tupperware or whatever... Yeah, I always. We, yeah, last party I went Wasn't to. Wasn't there I think a I Seinfeld episode like yes. this? Yes, no, with the it loaf was of bread, the marble bread. No, you're thinking of Larry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. No, no, no. Larry catered a party or something. He went back and got all the leftovers. I don't get to watch that. I don't have that channel. It's very funny. I think it's okay to take but stuff. But the the uh, Costanzas took a loaf of oh, bread over to the, meet Susan yes. George's. And yeah, they I'm forgot so, to put it out. Yeah. And then they, the Costanzas so they took, took it, it back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't George know. George is, you took the bread? Do you take stuff back when you take stuff to a party? I think I would probably say, hey, anybody want this? If not, I'm going to take it. Yeah. Yeah, fair. What yeah. about you? Hmm? You don't bring stuff. <laughs> I remember I had you over. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Usually what I bring is so good it gets finished. I, uh, oh! 
Oh, oh he's, yeah. He is smooth. Isn't I remember smooth. bringing your mom a jar of peanut butter one day, thinking I was going to give her a nice gift, and I said, and it's low calorie or something like that. And she goes, oh, I need those calories. Who said this? Your mom. Your mom. Your mom. My mom. I took her a jar of peanut butter. Oh. I, I, I don't know if it was low sugar or low calories. Was she but going she through said, chemo? But she said, but I need that. I need oh. that. Oh. Well, well, thanks you know, a lot. She got, she, you know, when she was going through chemotherapy, she was very, very sick. And the medication they gave her for nausea didn't work. So she got to where she would smoke marijuana to yeah. curb the yeah. Yes, nausea. I remember that. And it worked. Perfect. It yeah. worked I well that. and made her hungry, which is very important for a chemo person. But I would come home sometimes and I'd say, Mom, are you, are you not feeling well? No, I'm fine. I said, well, it smells like pot in here. <laughs> She's like, oh, I had to? I don't know. <laughs> but she was hungry. Not, yeah. 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 She got to where she's smoking it quite a bit. We haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Woody P. Snow. This is Janet Lane. Good afternoon. Across Good the uh, board there is Jay Stevens, the number one DJ in the area. People say, how many uh, watts uh, you guys are broadcasting on now? Hey, Ooh, I don't know. We don't need no stinking watts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We have we the power of the in, internet. We have the power of the internet, and it, it goes around the world. Who yeah. knows who's listening to us now in Zimbabwe? That's true. Hopefully, I'd like to say, hopefully, there's an Aborigine listening, going. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> a tribesman. Uh-huh. Okay, I know, have. A, I have a, what? I was going to explain about Aborigine. Oh, by the way. I learned where the word podcast came from. Okay. And it was uh, based off of the iPod. Oh, really? Developed by Apple, the, the iPod. A little bitty Everybody iPod. Everybody had one, yeah. and very, people I started have... doing that. Yeah. And so it became called a podcast. And the godfather of podcasting oh, yeah. is? Stephen Jobs. No. 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 Adam Curry from MTV, the MTV VJ with the blonde hair. Yes. He was the first He's guy. He's the first that. guy doing a pot. Wow. How many years ago was that? A long time. Wow. Well, around the uh, time of the podcast. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I have a letter from, well, it's actually well, a friend of mine. She said, I have some questions. What, what I'd like to know about you guys. About the boys? Yes. All right. Okay, wait. So, let me get to one more thing first. Okay. I want to warn everybody who's... Uh, uh, thinking about getting a Apple Vision Pro. <gasps> did you get yours? It's. I did. I haven't tried it yet. You what? Bring it. But I've been watching tons and tons of uh, tutorials. Oh. It's mm-hmm. not for everybody. I would say this is the first generation, and you'll realize if you're an Apple enthusiast, which I am. Mm-hmm. I've bought the first, uh, the first edition of everything they've it. ever made. Yeah, the first I know. iPad, the first. I remember. I, you, I think you're a majority shareholder in the company. Mm-hmm. Not a majority. <laughs> majority, and by the way, it was going down today, and that was making me unhappy. Mm. But uh, so, it, if you're not a real gung ho Apple enthusiast, wait for the second generation because there's a lot of room for improvement. Really? Are there yeah. bugs? Huh? Are no there bugs. Bu- no bugs. No bugs. Just. Things that could be smoother. I wish you would have brought it. Well, that's one of the problems. It's only made for one person. Mm. You put it on, and the first thing you do is it, it reads your eyes like fingerprints. Wow. So it knows it's you. Oh, so you can't to share work. it? I, there's a way to do that. I, Surely you can I add read eyeballs. That, read that part. I'm sure my... Uh, but <clears throat> you think you can see the person's eyeballs, but they're not... It re- there's 20 cameras in this thing, but wow. it, it takes pictures of your eyes, yeah, and puts them on on the screen on the out screen, so it looks like you're looking through your own eyes. Well, you seeing can't see through your own eyes. It looks your like own I'm eyes? like like if you had one on, I would think I was seeing your eyes. Oh wow! Except not really. Oh, wow! It's a if it's images of your well, eyes. Well, we really appreciate you describing it, not showing us. Well, I want you to. I'll buy. I'll buy y'all one if you want. You, Odie. That's all. That, that's surgery talk. 
Hmm? <laughs> I, I went ahead and started taking my painkillers. <laughs> I think they're going to give me oxy. Oxy yeah. afterwards? Yeah. Great. Well, I oh don't boy, like you have an addictive personality. It makes you, it makes you it makes you constipated. Oxy. When did you take oxy, and what for? Well, I took one every now and then. My wife does them all the time. Oh, oh my gosh! Maybe this should be on. The I don't. Down she does. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Yikes. She's got a lot of pain. I guess she just claims to have. Yeah. Why don't you get to your letter then? The, now? Well, they're not. It's not really a letter. It's just questions for you guys. I guess you could, if you want to ask me. Also, I guess I can answer. Oh, apparently, you're not. wanting us to. No, I really don't. I don't really. I mean, I don't care. But okay. All right. Well, it depends on how. What is know, the longest relationship no you've that. ever been in? <laughs> Your marriage. Uh, yeah. That, How many years? Is, yeah. That would be a relationship. So yes. that would be uh, yesterday was our anniversary. I know. So, and I don't know how many years. You don't know? No, I have no idea. It was before me, one year before me. So No, no, I, I, I've been in a relationship with you since you were 12. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, don't say oh, that. Yeah. No, now again. No, no. <laughs> You're, no 20. You just complained about it. He sounded like Biden last week. <laughs> And very much like Biden. Your hair's. Didn't really you come good. to see me at all my remotes? Yes, I did. Well, then we had a relationship. Well, you were mean. I was nice. Jay, go ahead with that question. Um, my previous relationship was twenty years. Oh, that's a good long time. That's a long. I didn't realize. Yeah, that's that. long. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I did. I did have one probably that lasted as long. Or, or, or I met uh, Eva in the seventh grade and. Didn't let her go into. I know she wanted to get married, and I, she tried everything, but I, I just knew it wasn't right. Because she was in seventh grade. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was until I don't know. That was till about. Uh, well, when I met Jackie, I just I, you dumped Eva. For yeah, Jackie. yeah, that's tough. But Eva's doing fine now. Oh, well, good. Okay, your favorite food. I like. Uh, my favorite food, a sandwich. Oh, me too. No. Airplane, also <laughs> airplane. Yeah, I stole that line from her. Well, airplane food? Just, yeah, airplane food's my favorite. Hospital food, I hope that's Hospital good. food's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. No, what I about? like uh, hot beans mixed with cold coleslaw. Oh. Wow, that's I, nice. Okay. I like that. You yeah, get the cold I, I like and the hot. That. Yeah, I like to do that. Okay. Uh, Mexican food for me. Mexican, yeah. okay. Tacos, um, margaritas, cologne. What cologne do you wear? What do you think? Old Spice. Old Spice. I wear none. None. I wear. Fair <laughs> Woody is gonna <laughs> frown on me. I if I put anything on, it's vanilla lotion. Oh, the girls like I it, know. Woody. The girls like it, Woody. I know that, and so do I. Vanilla <laughs> is key to getting followed I around. I like it. I like Remember? it. But my I daddy wore oil. Old Spice, and I loved and smelling him. his daddy's him. daddy wore Old Spice. It's been around a while. It's been around. Remember when I used to wear vanilla oil? Yes, I did. And, and boy, guys the come boys in the were elevator. chasing you. It's crazy. It does it, yeah. Okay, your drink of choice. I'd say chocolate milk. Oh, I was, th- I was thinking more alcoholic. but Alcohol? Wine. I, I drink them. You know, I don't like it so much anymore. You used to. I, I, these days, I'll pour a glass, and then I'll be working on my music, and I'll look over at the glass when I'm done, and it's still half full, and I don't want it. Wow. Yeah, I used to like wine. I used to like, uh, when I was trying to be cool, Gary Summers and I were drinking Manhattans. I don't even know what's in one, but... Did you really? <laughs> but you, you looked didn't... cool. <laughs> you were cool. Yeah, we, we drink Manhattans. What about you, Jay Stevens? Um, it depends on the mood and the vibe of what's going on, but... Champagne, probably. Real, like, when you I go like to, to a get, bar, it's a classy guy. I like to get down on some champagne. Yeah. Do they even serve it? Like, can you go to a bar and say champagne? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they probably only have it for me. But <laughs> does it give you a headache? No, I can drink it. A little ball. Wow. Okay. He tickles my nose. I like champagne. I just always thought that was a celebratory kind of thing. Yeah, I'm always too. celebrating. Oh well, there you go. Wow. I need to hang around this guy. You need some of his joy. I do. You do. You Yeah, you seem down. Most exotic place you've ever been? Depend, define exotic. <laughs> mm, 
Isle of Capri. Because I get it mixed up with erotic. Oh, you are still not over your kaleidoscope trip, oh, are would, you? Well, how about answering both? Exotic and That would have <laughs> to one? be, uh, for me, um, I forgot what island, but I mean, Hawaii. That's mm. just unbelievable. Yeah, but yeah. you, oh. now you don't made, make him pull his pants wait, down did again. You know I have a white. <laughs> Which island was I on? Oh, I think I, it's the third. I forgot. Which one? I have to look out of the corner. It's got a lot of cliffs. So that I don't seem creepy. Which island, according to his tattoos, were you on? It's not Maui. uh, (laughs) And it's not the Garden (laughs) Isle. The Big Island. Not the Big big Island. Kauai. No, that's the Garden Isle. Maui. I said it wasn't Maui. Okay, I didn't. No, no, no. He threw me. He can't. He's showing his tattoos. <laughs> but, but anyway, that, that's that was the most beautiful, beautiful place. What about you? Uh, I guess the most exotic place would be uh, Tortola in the Caribbean. Oh, Island wow. of Tortola. I am not even familiar, are you? Yeah. I never heard of it. I mean, is there a tattoo of it I somewhere? <laughs> Darn it. Missed opportunity. Tortola? Yeah, it was a small little. Is it, in a, is it in America? Nope. What country is it from? If you're, I do not know. You it's, don't it's know in the what Caribbean somewhere. Maybe it was a dream. Oh, Bahamas, it, Caribbean somewhere. Caribbean out there. island. Yeah. Yeah, there's some wonderful places there. Okay, favorite thing that a woman can wear that you find attractive or sexy. Well, it depends. And don't on the, say nothing. It depends on the woman's body. Most men always say white T-shirt and faded jeans. I hear that all the time. Well, that's a nice look, yeah. Mm-hmm. And especially if she's wearing your, you know, an overshirt, one of your work shirts over then, you know. Oh, I see, I really see. Painting a Caribbean. Yes, I want to get is. back to the Caribbean because I got a letter about a cruise. Okay. Um, yeah, it just depends on the occasion. And the, I'm, okay. I'm not a clothes person. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you look lovely today. Yeah, oh, I was going to say the same thing. Thank you. Oh. Nice shoes. You look a little rock and roll today. Yes. Are those new? Yeah. Where'd you get those? I got their present. Huh? It was in a prison? Were, in prison. I got them in. I got them in. That's what it sounded <laughs> like you said. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was real popular. <laughs> you must have been a guard. I was real popular <laughs> in prison. <laughs> I was everybody's friend. Anyway, okay, last question. Something about you that no one knows. Something. My life's an open book. Yeah, me too, but. Is it? Is it? What's something about you that would would, not too many people know? Can I give a commercial for myself? Yes. Yeah. I have my artwork is for sale over at um, Library Central. Really? Mm hmm. Well, maybe that's something no one knows that you're an artist. Books for sale on Amazon. You're an artist, a writer. Something no one knows. You're like Brad Bradshaw. I can't really tell you what I want to brag about. Just oh, so I've seen you do that. Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me curious. Okay. Something about you nobody knows. Yeah. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, I studied hypnosis and used to do hypnosis stage shows. Hypnotize people, make them do crazy stuff. Really? I bet there's the videos people online. The hypnotized don't even know. Yeah, there's videos online. Yeah. Oh wow! Will you? Can you try hypnotizing him after <laughs> the podcast? His- no. Would you agree with me that there are some people who cannot? Yeah, true. True. Yeah, you have. My to, brain uh, cannot be hypnotized. Yeah, me it, neither. It goes uh, too many directions. I have too many things thinking about yeah. all the time. Although the teacher was able to hypnotize me, but what's it feel like to be hypnotized? Just kind of chilled out and spaced out a little bit. Oh, I wonder if it, I wonder if I can be hypnotized. I don't think so because you be you be coming up with one liners. <laughs> yeah, to the, to the yeah, like my brain's always kind of thinking too. So it's I don't let my I don't let my brain just stop. go ever. No, right. I, I can. Yeah, I don't think I think that's one reason I don't sleep well because yeah. it's just like same thing. Sometimes I lay in bed and my brain's just going. What I got to do tomorrow? Oh yeah. I'm always trying to think of songs. I woke up at four thirty in the morning thinking. Mama Shadow. What am I going to wear with my shoes? The prison with shoes. My prison shoes. Oh. What goes with my prison shoes? 
Okay. That's a good song right hey, there. Too. I thought of you the other day. I went to the movies and I, and I, you know how much it costs for two people to go to the movies anyway. Pricey. And without treats. Yeah. Just the tickets. Okay. So I spent X amount on this movie. It was go called ahead and tell us. Argyle. Yeah. It had Brian Cranston in it, Sam Rockwell. Oh, those um, are good actors. Dua Lipa. She's beautiful in it. She's only in it for a split second. Um, uh, Ron Howard's daughter, her uh, redhead, she, pretty good actress. So it had these names, worst movie I've ever seen. I, I mean, I it was so bad I couldn't even walk out. I just laughed. I mean, it was. I thought I'm not going to waste my money. I'm going to enjoy this somehow. You know, I wish I had <laughs> eaten a gummy or least. something. Yeah, I just I, we just kept ordering food. Because there's nothing else to do, to do. I don't know who's writing this garbage. Same thing in Nashville. Ugh, I was just like, really? And there was some guy behind me just laughing like he was the greatest was it a thing. Comedy? I don't know. To be? I don't think it was supposed to be, but it was. At least you made the best of it. Okay, I, I got did. this. I did. This one came for you, Jan. Uh oh. And it says J, so I guess. Dear W and J and J. <laughs> hey guys, I got one for you for Am I a Jerk? So I'm an older guy who's never been married, and I've found the best place to hook up with women is on a cruise. So far, I've been on 22. <laughs> I've wheeling. been on 22 of them. Why is Jay going away? <laughs> I'm wheeling back. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I've been on 22 of them and hooked up with at least one woman each time, sometimes two. The part I'm struggling with is that a lot of these women are unhappily married and say they go on these cruises just to hook up. As I get older, I'm starting to feel guilty about it. But really, am I to blame? Am I a jerk for continuing to do this when I'm actually not doing anything wrong? He's providing a service. (laughs) <laughs> oh my so he's going on these cruises to just to hook up with these unhappily to satisfy married. these lonely women hey. are the women there with their husbands no matter how you slice it it's uh there will be groups of women on cruises that are like do girls trips oh they really will. I, I see do it they, yeah. and oh, I bet bachelorette they... parties on a let's go on a cruise for a bachelor i see it yeah because i go on a lot of cruises yeah D- uh, adultery yeah that's the word no, no matter how you slice it that's what it is well, they're committing adultery. Is he? He's not married. That's true. He's not. But yeah, I don't. And he could we always need tell himself. To write in on that he one. could always, you know, he's probably telling himself, "I don't know if she's married or right. not." Right. If it doesn't come up, um, don't don't tell. What is it? Don't but ask? I mean, the, <laughs> everybody's adults. It, it happens. <laughs> It, yeah, I, I guess. I've never some been people, on a cruise. Some people have morals and won't cheat, but other people, it's not a big deal. You know. Run, what is it you say, Woody? Run to the end of your chain? Huh? It's until so, it breaks. <laughs> it's, <laughs> or you no. choke yourself. Something it's like that. It's not cheating if you run to the end of your chain and bark. Oh, I don't know about that. I tell you, and I, <clears throat> I think there are people who <clears throat> I know. Mm-hmm. Who are expecting a civil war? Oh, I and know. It could come by the end of this year. Are they doing the bunker thing and could come? Could come. Huh? Hoarding food. Yeah. Did Didn't you read about uh, Zuckerberg? Uh, Zuckerberg building a like a multi million dollar bunker. I say, I say, we go to that house, that big mansion that yeah, that guy all built, up in there with mm-hmm. the cement walls yeah. and abandoned, whatever that place is called. Well, that's where we'll meet. We'll do the show from there next time. Can we? Yes. Now, next week we may be interrupted by a phone call. They're going to call me on Thursday to tell me what time to report for surgery on Friday. I don't know why they don't know now. All right, I don't well, know how that exciting. works. That could be exciting. That could be exciting if we could uh, time it perfect. You know, Will they I, let me come see you? Because you know what I think, I, honey? There's going to be instructions on the door. <laughs> I think I take should. Take whatever gift you want to bring me. I should come there and, you know, and keep you calm. Because, you know, I. <laughs> I feel know, like she's got that trigger finger, Woody. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll finger. go like this. I'll look over. I go. need to be there if I'm. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to be there to keep you relaxed. You know, like I used to do at the library when you'd go there to work. 
I'm going to download this podcast and bring it to the hospital and stand and guard, Woody, for if you. if I'm in charge of the plug, I That's think why. I need... why. She thinks he's in charge of the plug still. Yes, I need to be there. <laughs> no. So that when he goes in a coma, I pull it. <laughs> I'm going to switch rooms. Thank I'm the sponsors. I'm going gonna... <laughs> to get up and switch rooms. <laughs> We'd like to uh, thank the sponsors, Chuck and Sheila. Stop it. Uh, over it. What? No, 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 no. What did I say? You, you, you said Chuck and Sheila? It's not Chuck no, and Sheila. No, I didn't. Yeah, y- y- yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. did. I did. Did, 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 did. Did I, Jay? I stay out of these ones. I stay out of these, these spats. You See, he used guys. Just, he always sides with you. He does not side with me. He likes you better. I pick at you. He's a, every time I come in here, you I, two are all cozied up, buddied up. That's because you're always Look late. At, I was not late. I was eight minutes early. Tom and Pam. Yes. How Tom long is, oh my gosh. How long has Woo! Kaleidoscope been there? Over fifty years. Would you believe nineteen seventy two? Woo! I can't do that math in my head that fast. Fifty two years. Did you do that in your head? Yeah, I did. Jeez. Well yeah. Good. I, you did too. This is twenty four. So this still doesn't make sense to me. You did not do that Take in your two. head. You and me and math, we all, yeah, but We're that's on the an same easy page. one. I can't do it. Sorry. I'm glad you did. Thanks. Anyway, Jay. Kaleidoscope, it's a fantastic, unique, totally unique. There's no yes. other store I was that just I've ever in there. seen like it. Huh? I was just in there. Were you? Is yeah. that where you bought those shoes? Those no, no, no. Shoes? These are prison shoes. No, I bought Coochie in there. <laughs> on that note, I'll see you next week. Okay. I'll, maybe I'll drop by there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. It it's Woody P. Snow along with Jay Stevens. And I want to say, see ya. Oh, and yeah. this is Janet Elaine Lane saying, <gasps> This has been Around the Ozarks Rewind with Woody and Janet. If you have questions or topics for the show, email Woody and Janet at AroundTheOzarks.com.